This video provides a rare chance to hear and see a case of severe bronchospasm before and after the administration of 0.3 milligrams of epinephrine at a 1 to 1,000 concentration. I am very grateful to whoever made this because it has helped and will continue to help emergency responders better understand this critical emergency. Listen to her inspiratory and expiratory phases. Despite inspiratory wheezing, she can get a decent amount of air in with each inhalation. However, during expiration, her airway closes down so much there isn't enough air movement to create a wheezing sound. Instead, she just coughs. You can hear her inspiration is much longer than her expiration. Because she cannot fully exhale, air is beginning to stack up in her lungs making it harder and harder to get her next breath in. <coughs> yeah, give a shot. Urgent bronchodilation is needed, but how? Via nebulizer or IM epinephrine? It's a bit of a judgment call, but if tidal volume is very diminished or ineffective, Inhaled bronchodilators may not be able to reach the constricted airways. IM Epi, however, uses a circulatory system to reach the bronchi evenly and very quickly. You can see the epinephrine is injected by the time you hear the click. It is only a small drop of medicine. The need to hold pressure is more important for keeping the epinephrine from leaking out of the hole than any other reason. One, two, three. Hold it for three seconds. As you withdraw, the safety cap comes down over the needle. <laughs> Despite her continued inspiratory wheezing, her breathing improves dramatically after the epi because she is now able to exhale more completely. Better exhalation reduces the back pressure in her lungs, allowing her to inhale more easily as well. Notice how you can now hear her wheezing during exhalation. The duration of epi injected IM is about 15 to 20 minutes. It is therefore important to remember that even though she has improved greatly, the call is not over and follow-up medical care is required. In anaphylaxis, early administration of IM epinephrine is critical. A second injection of epinephrine is required in up to one-third of cases, especially if there was a delay in administering the first dose of epinephrine. Conclusion. Anaphylactic reactions are unpredictable. It is easier to prevent the anaphylactic avalanche than to catch up. Therefore, act quickly. The IM route for epi is about 10 times faster than the subcutaneous route. The lateral aspect of the thigh has the fastest rate of absorption. In a pinch, the delta will do. Epinephrine IM is a very powerful bronchodilator, but relatively short-acting. Epinephrine IM often needs to be repeated. Don't forget to follow on treatment, example, with longer acting bronchodilators, antihistamines, corticosteroids, etc. Always follow your protocols.